This is our first day at the Grand Canyon. We just saw it sunrise. It's about 7.30 now. It's still beautiful. It's still a lot of exploring to do. And uh, it's awesome. As crazy as it sounds, the primary force behind the carving of the Grand Canyon is simply water and time. Around five to six million years ago, the Colorado River began cutting away at the rock layers it was flowing over. Through the millennia, that river eventually eroded down the plateau into the national feature that we recognize today. The Grand Canyon is not the deepest canyon in the world, but it is one of the most visually stunning. The unique combination of colors, shapes, and shadows makes it a visual masterpiece. This video doesn't even come close to being here live. Just the feeling you get just sitting here next to this majestic, massive canyon. It's unreal. It's like being on another planet. Being on another planet. With all this open space, it makes you feel so free. I wish I could just take off and fly over the canyon like this bird. The Grand Canyon is incredibly deep. Still, even with all the impressive stats, like being 277 miles long and 18 miles wide, the Grand Canyon doesn't actually dip below sea level. The air at the Grand Canyon is among the cleanest air in the United States. Take a deep breath. The elevation of the South Rim is around 7,000 feet above sea level. We were so amazed by the sunrise, but the sunset was even more spectacular. My goodness, at sunset, the canyon just comes alive with many different textures and shadows and a magnitude of colors that just are ever-changing as the sun dips behind the horizon.